back. We are Two in the middle of track. <laughs> we are in the middle of a combat with the IKS Chot. Chot. Uh, fortunately, we have a ship that's way more powerful than us. That's mm -hmm. actually fighting this OP ship. Yeah. And we're meant to just fly around and feel like we're helping. And it's cute. Then I like I'm it. I'm shooting too. It's like the participation medal of Starfleet. Yep. Oh, fire one of those high yield torpedoes. Oh, okay. There, I set it, and... Point. Oh. oh. Boosh. Aw, oh, his shields went back up. That that happens annoyingly. He's doing, like, no damage. I'm just gonna crash into him. Don't worry about it. Oh, fuck, that will do damage. Oh, Gotta go. will do damage to you when it explodes. Yup. Oh, it didn't explode. Well, it did, but not enough to... Only to take you down to 99% shields. Get your back up to full now. Ooh, the USS Kittimer. Like the Accords! Yeah. The place. The Worf's dad died. Yes, that is true. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I got my science officer. You got Bolian science officer Zarva. Uh, she gives me emergency power to shields. Increase so, shield power level, shield repair, shield... Okay, so I use her ability, and what it does is it repairs my, my shields faster, so it basically can keep me alive. Yeah, if you're getting the beat down, you need to use that. So, we're going to exit to sector space. Mew. Go to warp. <laughs> Loading. Loading. Uh. Oh, wow, they've, impre they've really improved their uh, load times. There you go. Oh, okay, the first four. thing, the very first thing I always do here is I disable astrometrics because it looks ridiculous. Um, hmm. begin communication breakdown at Pollux Four. The episode titles are always cute. Here, I did like that. The USS yeah. Kittimer is dead ahead, and the renown is beside us. Our orders it's are to make contact ahead. with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. On your way to the Kittimer and talk to them. I guess I'll go by myself, giant ship that can defend itself much more easily. Captain Yim. Captain J. Yim. Yes, sir. Boost the signal. were the unfortunate victims of a Klingon ambush. Captain Taggart is dead, and the ship is under the command of this... I don't think anyone cares about this. I mean, they might. It's hard to say, but they could play the game themselves. Yeah, be better readers. Okay. Yep. He's troubled, though. He, he is. You can tell he's serious because of the scar, I think. There you go. Yes, that's a scar. Mm-hmm. Is a uh, bad, bad incident with two grubs. You're quite confident for a cadet. Captain, bitch. Yeah, cadet captain. We're gonna collect I mean, data. <laughs> Just zillions of him floating in space. <laughs> oh, sorry, I misread this. It was data. Yeah. I wondered data, why it was capitalized. Data. <laughs> Oh, I should probably fly toward that mission arrow on my mm. map. So, to make a turn faster, you reduce your speed into the turn and uh, increase it out. Not entirely unlike actual driving. Well, yeah, if you want to be technical. Mm -hmm. If you want to be, like, I don't know, correct. Yep. Pling! Pling! So, there is a lot of time like this in the game, yeah. where you're just... Literally driving from place to place in your starship. I, you know what? Like, there's, there's nothing fundamentally wrong with the way that they handled like their starship um, piloting and stuff like that. I thought, like, if you're going to have to play a game where you're piloting a starship and doing stuff like that in this, this is, it was done reasonably well. But um, at the same time, you spend an awful lot of time doing it, and I felt like 
I don't know. It feel very Star Trekky to me. Yeah. And maybe you know I'm being a little bit like you know, over cynical of it or something like that. But you know, like when I think Star Trek, I think sitting on a bridge and interacting with people and then doing away missions and shit like that. Not so much the actual like flying around in space combat. Yeah, there are places, I think, where they could have... I mean, even if you wanted to keep the space combat like it is, like, to have Mm -hmm. that tactile feeling, because I I get where just giving orders may not have been appealing to a mass audience. Oh, yeah, no, no. But, I mean, there are a lot of times, though, like, in these travel moments where it should just be you on the bridge, and you should be able to interact with your guys, and... Yeah. And that's that would have been a more immersive experience. But... Well, I mean, they... Your ship bridge is so, like... Um, criminally underused in this game too. Like I played, like like John said earlier on in the series, we have spent a lot of time individually playing this game already. I'm in my 168th hour right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm significantly less than that, but still quite a few hours in. And so, like, um, it's not like there's there's very little time actually spent on doing things inside your ship. Which is like, is that not what you're supposed to be doing in Star Trek? Like, isn't it mostly on the ship? Yeah. Things it's... happening to your ship and around your ship and on your ship? Yeah. Like, the only things you can really do on your ship, unfortunately, in STO, as far as I know, like, is to invite other people to come and hang out on your bridge and do basically absolutely nothing. I would have, I mean, like, I'm not asking for this game to have been, like, Puzzle Pirates or something like that, where it's a bunch of people on a crew that are doing mini games, but, um, like, and I mean, yeah, I get it. People want to be captain of a Starfleet vessel or whatever, but, um, it would have been cool if there was the ability to, like, you know, well, either multi crew it and do something through that, or just to have, like, a bunch of episodes where something comes to you instead of you having to go to something else. Call me crazy. No, I completely agree. Um, uh, but then again, I mean, like we said, we could we could pick apart the design, but there's a lot oh, yeah, of elements absolutely. that we don't know, and I think a lot of it is probably the limitations of the engine when they built the game. Well, it could be, but and I don't know. Like, I, I think that they, they have this great system of, like, third-person shooting type stuff, and they pro- could, they could have saved extra resources by put, by staging a lot of stuff on the uh, on the ship, you know? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. It's like, make your ship this sort of major hub, and then have you do, like, away missions on the ground and stuff like that. And all of the, And, like, I enjoy basically every away mission that I've been... Um, that I was put on when I played through this game. Yeah, although, like, shit, they got... Ah. Yeah, it's going very poorly. You. Well, you still got 95%. No, well, yeah, payment. fortunately that's, that's there's no way integrity. to lose these you, fights, so... Yeah. Your hull integrity is, is... It's dropping, but your shields are... Alright, I'm gonna well, use so. my uber torps. Ooh. Don't waste them until the shield's down. Oh, bam. There you go. I see what I did there. On one hand, I'm glad they don't have a torpedo count. Like, thank God. <laughs> but We're out of torpedoes, Captain. Like, I could see how this game could They'll have become much more. more hardcore. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, if they wanted to make a hardcore Star Trek experience out of this, they totally could have. But, yeah, to be fair, like, this is... This is has more mass market appeal, I'm sure, than this is like the emergency medical being aboard the US straight up Star Trek. Oh, Zachary Quinto. <laughs> I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. Did you phone it in, buddy? Yeah, you phoned it in, didn't you? Kidmer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. <laughs> These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem. This was after he had been cast. But yeah. before the first movie came out. Right. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. Ugh. The Borg were brutally efficient on the Kittimer. Yeah, nobody I cares. Will teams to aid the Kittimer. You will I care. Finish. I care too much. <laughs> <clears throat> so I guess we gotta go scan another thing. Yep. More flying and scanning. 
super exciting. You can have enough of that. And then probably more fighting Borg ships. That's that's the problem. Is it's basically you go and you scan, and then it's just repeatedly that you go and you scan, and then either something turns up or it doesn't. Yep. And then you fight, and then you. And like they've also got these these like unnecessarily long wait times to do things as well when they really didn't need to. Yeah. Yeah. Although I feel like we're being unnecessarily negative here. Like, despite all of the things that we're saying right now, we're I I, I don't know that. One hundred and sixty-eight hours, everybody. One hundred and sixty-eight yeah, yeah. hours. I enjoy this. It's just this is one of those things where it's like. Mm. You could have done so much better. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory. That said, though, active player base, five years in. Going free to console. play was the best decision they ever made with this game. Yes, yes. In fact, all of Cryptic's games, they're just built for it. Oh, look, the Borg. Whoa. What a shock. Somebody is on point with those phaser banks. Hells yeah. So, normally I'd be concerned, because they'd be doing actual damage to my shields. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, in this case, I can afford to just literally sit here like a turret. Yeah, you got plot armor right now. Yep. But I, I do think a lot of the things people look at as the failings of this game is just the way the engine is was created. And, and the hey, state hey, it was hey. in five years ago, because as we know... You're almost stuck off sometimes with inferior technology because that's what you started with. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, in fact, um, as a producer, I'll tell you that that is a brutal uh, yeah. sink of time when that happens. Uh, yeah, it's no secret that Alpha Dog Games, who we work for, are a uh, are an Unreal Engine studio, and yeah, um, Unreal has uh, you know has some some issues that need to be worked out. It's starting to show its age a little bit. Nothing against <clears throat> Epic. No, Unreal is a is a fantastic fucking engine. We are an Unreal studio after all. We and love it, but yeah, it's yeah. also fair to note that they're they're ahead of us technologically. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, so the the moral of that story, however, is uh, engines do start to, to show their age, and when you start with an engine, you are stuck in that engine for a long fucking time. Otherwise, you get you know stuck in porting hell, like good old fucking um, Reloaded games is with APB. Mm -hmm. And they're hey, we're we're switching over to Unreal Four guys um, thing that the oh oh. Boy, was my camera pointed in the wrong direction. <laughs> the shit. Superstructure! It's an invasion force. They built that fast. Mm-hmm. I think it jumped in. Oh, what? Oh, oh they left. They only kept, like, one or two. We'll be all right. The Borg are departing, most likely for, for a more strategic target. Boy, putting the Borg in the tutorial really cheapens them. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It's like, no, I want to be terrified, even of a Borg sphere, when I'm in a ship this shitty. Mm -hmm. Like, well, I mean, they. To be fair, it could have been like one of those just unbeatable fights too, right? Where it like destroys the other two of you, and you just barely manage to escape by the skin of your teeth. Well, it's also you got to create that excitement in the first in the uh, early user experience. Yeah, or you want to make your, your player -E. feel. Yeah, your your fatue. Fatue. First time you act user experience. Um, but you know, like you got to make the player feel badass, and you want to be able to like destroy a Borg sphere, even though the Enterprise couldn't destroy a Borg cube twice. Although the sphere, the spheres, to be fair, have been. Fairly easy to destroy. I guess. I guess. Captain Earth. It was a whole thing. Yep. I don't care about any of this. What about you? We're leaving. Mm -hmm. We'll set a course for Vega. Alright. Time to go wheeze the juke boost in Vega. Jeez, I can't believe you're trying to bring that back. <laughs> 
squeezing the jit. Ooh. Oh, He's... Jesus Christ. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for wheezing the juice with us, everybody. We'll see I, you I'm next I'm going to throw up. On Star Trek Online. Oh, Chino yeah. Man. No. Buddy. So good.